Technology destroys jobs, from agriculture machines that replaced so many farmers to AI that can easily replace so many, let's say, junior software developers. The good news is that, historically speaking, this has proven to be a net positive because more than enough new jobs were created after... 1. The first industrial revolution's steam engine as of the 1760s led to leaps in mechanization, transportation, and urbanization. 2. The second industrial revolution in the late 19th century brought about new ways to use energy such as the internal combustion engine and electricity, easier communication thanks to the telegraph and later on telephone, mass production, etc. 3. The digital revolution, which arguably started with the invention of the transistor in 1947, brought us computers, mobile phones, and other productivity increase facilitators. Thus, while far less labor was needed in agriculture or the textile industry, a lot of it was required so as to keep factories running, build energy infrastructure, and so on. The bad news is that, well, past performance does not guarantee future results when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution we are currently in. More specifically, we know AI will destroy many jobs, but hope rather than know that enough new ones will emerge to offset these losses. Is AI ready to take over the world? Nope. Is AI ready to take your job? Not necessarily AI in the form of fully autonomous agents, but even with today's technology, someone who knows how to use AI can easily replace an entire customer support department, for example. Which is quite scary, especially since the idea that AI progress will slow down to make the transition smoother is naive from a game theory perspective. Think about it. If the US or European Union implement roadblocks, countries like China will be more than happy to do the exact opposite. There's ultimately no putting this genie back in the bottle, and thus, the only things to do are observe and continuously adjust to rapidly changing landscapes.